With continued misinformation and false claims that attempt to scare and confuse the public about stem cell research, UM experts Sean Morrison and David Gordon address the facts about embryonic stem cell research regulations. Embryonic stem cells have the potential to change the future of medicine, improving cell therapies for diseases like Parkinson's and juvenile diabetes, improving our understanding of inherited human diseases, and improving our ability to discover safer and more effective new drugs for those diseases. Embryonic stem cell research is the most highly regulated form of medical research. There are federal laws that govern all human subjects research, including any research in which stem cells would ever be tested in patients, and any research in which anyone would ever be asked to donate embryos for the derivation of new stem cell lines. We have embryonic stem cell research oversight committees that have been set up at all federally funded institutions to review any type of research, whether it's done in patients or even just in laboratory dishes with embryonic stem cells. There is also the possibility of state regulation, where the state can regulate patient safety, patient privacy, scientific practices, and any industries that would develop related to this area. Private companies are regulated by the Food and Drug Administration under federal law. So whether you're at a privately funded company or a federally funded institution, the federal government ensures that all research is ethical, beneficial, and legal. The way we conduct clinical research in this country and including our university in, in the state of Michigan is much greatly improved compared to several decades ago when a number of errors and a number of problems were uh, generated including the infamous Tuskegee uh, experiments and people should understand that we have some major guiding principles one of which is as with physicians to do no harm um, and also to always to seek to identify what the problem is and try to take the individual problem and make it better so our research is really aimed in this arena of stem cell research as a new area which would allow us to pursue certain areas of investigation along the lines of tissue regeneration and other types of um, tissue healing um, that may be possible with the use of stem cells. We feel a number of areas in this arena are very important. Uh, one is the ability to do research in various areas from a regeneration point of view. I think the other thing is to be able to broaden the uh, sources of these so uh, cells so that we don't get cells in this area from a limited population so that all sorts of racial and ethnic groups can be included in terms of the focus of this kind of research. As you know, a number of diseases are focused in certain areas, such as sickle cell anemia among African Americans, for example. It is important for people to understand that all of our clinical research is aimed at trying to identify what the unmet needs are in terms of the conditions that we face and figure out how way, ways of making those conditions better or improving those situations. In this arena of stem cell research, this would give us another avenue and another whole area, an armamentarium, to tackle many of these disease entities that up until now have been very frustrating in terms of being able to get progress. And that is what we are committed to doing.